Hi, welcome back. It's Zoe Chat again, and um, I'm excited. I just got back from the Goodwill outlet one more time, and again, this is not processed. I haven't done anything with it, um, but quickly before we get started, um, my name is Zoe. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'm just getting started on my YouTube journey, so I hope that you're interested in reselling content and like to watch things like hauls um, and hopefully soon some what solds. Um, but I am looking forward to showing you what I got today. I will say that uh, at the bins today in New Hampshire, where they give out tickets 1 through 45, and two times ago I got number 45, and last time I got number 40, today I got number 25! So I am moving up in the world, finally. Um, but, you know, today at the bins was just not as good um, as last time. I got some good stuff I'm going to show you, but um, just the, even the bins like weren't that full of stuff. Um, and a lot of the bins had textiles and um, bedding, which was funny because last time there were like three or four bins that had all 100% kid stuff. Um, but I found some good kid stuff in there. And I'm not really that interested in selling textiles, curtains, um, bedding. Um, so those bins weren't really of interest to me. Um, but I will show you. It was funny. I Having number 25, by the time I got in there, the shoe bins were ransacked and there's nothing left. There's two shoe bins at this one and they had been fully picked over. But I found three, what I think are really good pairs of shoes in random bins. Um, one was, um, and I will tell anybody who goes to the bins to do this, you have to watch where the people are sorting their stuff when they throw stuff back. So one of these pairs of shoes I got because someone threw it back. The other two pairs I got in uh, hard goods bins. And one, this guy helped me find, he pointed them out to me. Um, and they're fantastic. And the other one, I found one, and then I went two bins over, and I found the other one, which was great. Unfortunately, I had um, a fourth a fourth one where I only found half. I never found the pair. So anyway, I don't want to take too long and, and go on, but let's let's just jump into it. I will say, too, one last thing was that I said to myself after last time, I went on Saturday, and I'm filming this today is Tuesday, that last time would be the last time that I would look for, you know, winter things and that I would source, you know, coats and boots and things. And I didn't keep to that entirely. But today will be the last time that I source coats and boots and things. I just found a bunch of them today and I couldn't leave them behind. I'll get them listed today. Um, you know, it's late January, but here in Boston, it's going to be cold till the end of March. Um, and so hopefully I'll still be able to move some of these things. But so anyway, the first thing I found are these uh, women's size 8 EMS. Just some great, like, outdoor quick drying cargo shorts. So... Those will be good. Um, and this one bin I went to, there was like someone, the same person must have donated like eight bras. And I took, I think I took five of them. Um, I'll probably, assuming they're similar size, try to lock some of them up. Um, they're all Victoria's Secret. So they're not all the same size though. So this is just a plain one. It has a front close. No, it doesn't have a front close. It has a front V. Um, but this is a 34D, just a nude bra. This one is also nude, but like nude sort of blush pink. This one is um, 34C. It has some good padding. Uh, this one's sort of pretty, um, but unfortunately the little tack in the front is coming undone. Um, but still the bra overall is in really good shape. It's a Victoria's Secret push-up 34C. So I'll probably lock that with that last one. And this one I believe is also 34. Oh no, this is 34D, so I can do two and two. Victoria's Secret, another nude um, padded push-up bra. I don't know who with the 34D is looking for a whole lot of push-up, but hopefully somebody. So the next two things I found I thought were great. They both need some serious sweater shaving. You can see this is really pilly. But I'll put on some TV and have at it um, because I just thought this is really nice. It's like this it has faux shirt on the inside of the collar, um, but it's this Timberland, just this Timberland pullover sweater. Um, but I just thought it was really nice. It's a men's extra large. It's a good size. And I just thought that would be worth the work. And then this one um, is extra, extra large men's Timberland. And it's like this waffle knit. This one's in much better shape with the contrast color at the collar. Um, but that's a nice one too. And I'm excited. This is the first of two. I found two band tees today. So I haven't Googled them or looked them up yet. This one's a 2XL. This one is Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, the man in black. So we'll see. Um, if this one doesn't sell, I will certainly wear it because I love Johnny Cash. <clears throat> uh, these also, I think somebody threw back at the end. These are some 
uh, slalom. Size medium women's ski pants. But these are in really good shape. Definitely have to get these listed ASAP. Um, I got this low alpine, just a black medium fleece. I'll have to see if it's men's or women's. I think it's probably men's. It has this different fabric on the sleeves. I got a couple pairs of jeans. So it's funny, this woman was like hovering over me when I was grabbing these, and I definitely don't think they're anything special. Um, they are 2831 or 7 regular Hollister, super skinny, and they have some factory distressing. A Hollister back. There's some distressing on this pocket, but nothing I think is a deal breaker. So I thought those are good. These are men's Levi's. They are, let's see, men's Levi's 3330, and they are 559. So look those up, but these are in really good condition. No signs of wear. So this does have a little stain on it. I'm gonna see if I can get it out. Um, it's a women's medium. North Face white hoodie with the pink logo. You can see that stain right on the front there. I'm going to take a tag stick to that and throw it in the wash and see what I can do, or I'll sell it as is. Because um, I just thought it was cute, classic North Face piece. This sweater, it's, the brand is Gary. It's uh, Seattle, Washington. It's a USA brand. It's 83% wool, 16% nylon, 1% other. Um, but it's just this really nice, mostly wool, V-neck sweater, size extra large, men's. So again, I gotta get that listed, ASAP. And this is where I know it's the end of the winter, but I got this L.L. Bean. So this is wool, nylon, and cashmere blend. It's a women's size 14, so it's a good size. Black wool and cashmere, all the buttons are there. So that was exciting. Okay, I got this is just super plain. Um, you know, I don't know, $25 maybe. Um, men's extra large Columbia fleece, but it is in really good condition. So wash that. Gonna get that listed. Okay. Uh, these are Aeropostal, and these are new with tags, and they're $32.30. They're men's. Um, they have like some factory distressing on the sides and on the knee. And there's some on the hem, which is weird because they definitely still have the tags on them. So this must be on purpose factory because um, nobody was wearing it with this giant tag. Um, and it, they were $50. Oop. Sorry. And they were $50 at Aeropostale. So, you know, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks for those. And this is a much shorter haul. I only got 30 pounds of stuff today. Um, these are Gamble. These I wouldn't have picked up at the thrift store, but at the bins, it's hard not to. They're just J. Jill, size small, just charcoal gray, plain women's pull-on pant. Um, but you know, maybe 20, 25 bucks for those. They're in really good condition. This <laughs> has some fading. It's not in great shape, but as I've shown you before, I cannot leave the Red Sox stuff behind. This is just a boy's hooded Red Sox sweatshirt, but it's cute. Uh, so this next piece is <laughs> like the one like transitional spring piece that I got. And this is, it's really pretty, you can see wrap shirt. And this is made well, and it's a size large. And it's this beautiful black eyelet. Um, so that was kind of a fun find. Okay. This is basic Nike. It's a boys large just hooded hooded Nike sweatshirt with let's see. Let's get the spell out Nike on the front there. It's kind of fun. 
There's a kid's party on Poshmark today, so try and get that listed before. Uh, this, I don't know. This is a little beat up. Um, but it's just this really cute Aeropostale, small petite, but it's this double-breasted, like, sweatshirt coat that I thought was cute. So we'll see. That definitely you can wear for spring. Then I got this. This is great. This is a women's medium. This is North Face. Just women's medium hooded sweatshirt. It's in great condition. Watch that. Get that listed. And, ooh. Here, and this is really fun. Here's the second band tee. So this is a women's medium. It's definitely fitted. But look at that. The Beatles. I don't know. It's um, 2006. So it's not officially vintage, but it's old. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Get that listed. Um, <laughs> I wish this had been a coat, but I saw the orange and it looked like Carhartt orange to me. Now this has a couple of pen stains on one of the sleeves. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get them out, but I'll sell it as is. It has the Carhartt spell out on the sleeve. And Carhartt is definitely a popular brand. And then last in this bag is a women's small petite, the North Face version of the better sweater. It's got a hood, it's a half zip with a kangaroo pocket, gray, really nice condition. That was great. And five more things. So this bag is really dirty. I'm gonna have to figure out how to work on it, but this bag is a beautiful bag. This is like a men's canvas with leather trim weekender bag. It has both straps. It has the shoulder strap and the regular handles with this Snap, you can cinch them together. But this is a fancy G Crew bag. So this was kind of a fun find. Um, and this costs different than the clothes. It's different than the 149 a pound. I think it's, this is like 20 cents a pound, which is nice because it's a little bit heavy. This I got from my nephews. This is in perfect condition. Not a single sticker missing. Star Wars. That was super cool. Star Wars the Ultimate Sticker Book. It's got like all these stickers and it's like all the classic Star Wars people. And then um, it's got these pages that tell you what they all are and you can put the stickers on them. So I thought that was fun. I don't know how my nephews will share it, but they will have to. Okay. These were the boots that were tossed back. These are Timberland boots, the brown Timberland. The sole and the treads are in really good shape and they are a US 6 I'll have to figure out if they're men's or women's 6 they look pretty small uh, so I bet they're women's but that was another good find again somebody discarded those so I don't know why these are the boots that this guy helped me find it's so awesome he was looking in this hard goods bin and look at what these are cute little fry booties and they definitely have some wear. You know, they're not like in new condition or anything, but they're in decent condition, you know, somewhere in the bottom. But the zippers work. They're nice tan little booties. I'm excited about these. You know, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks. Really great find. Thank you, thank you to the hard goods man. And last but not least, these were the boots. I found one and I found the other. And these are Sorel. Look at the bottoms. The bottoms are like new. And there's a little, I gotta clean up the suede a little bit. I have some suede cleaner. I'll clean this up a little bit with this faux fur coming out of the top. But aren't those beautiful? And did this little leather snap strap on the side. All snapped. That may work. And these are women's size seven. So these were my Biggest probably find of the day. Really excited about these. 
And so, like I said, this should be my last time that I source, that I pick up this much winter stuff. Um, I, it's, like I said, I couldn't help it today. Uh, I just was finding still some winter stuff, and it's still cold here, so I don't think we've totally missed the window, but I'll have to go ahead and get all this stuff listed ASAP. But again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, and I will be posting, I have a thread up, uh, was a 25 piece women's box coming that I will be opening hopefully in the next two or three days if it gets here. I got the FedEx notification that it shipped, but it still doesn't have a delivery date. And sometimes when that happens, it doesn't come for weeks. Sometimes then it's just like surprise, it's coming tomorrow. Uh, so I will keep my eyes open for that. But so my next video should be that thread up uh, women's mixed clothing box, 25 items. So again, I hope you are enjoying this content. I welcome any comments and feedback. And if there are other things that you'd like to see or hear about, Please let me know. Thanks.